The Mushroom Murder. This is a plot that oh yeah only well, that is a great photo of her. BBC. Can the people see that? Have a look at her face. That is a woman who will murder someone with a, with a mushroom. All right, you will. That's oh, she's kind of hot to be honest. She looks like a fucking mushroom. What are you talking <laughs> about? She got hair like a lion's mate. So she um, and this is a, this is this is an M Night Shyamalan movie, right? <laughs> so she, allegedly. Allegedly, an Australian woman has been charged with murdering three people in a suspected mushroom poisoning case and also accused of trying to murder her ex-partner, like ex-husband, on four occasions. So this lady, whose name is Erin Patterson from Australia, she has been charged with... She hasn't been, it hasn't been proven, but she's been charged um, before the courts with murdering people via mushrooms. Now, we all know mushrooms are, can be deadly, can be tasty. Can be. Garlic mushrooms, man. Pfft, unbelievable. And then there's other mushrooms like lion's mane. Um, I forget the others. Reishi, they're really good for you. Really good supplements. Are you going to start selling those mushroom oils that everyone else fucking sells? I <laughs> used to. They stopped They stopped, they stopped, sponsoring, they stopped sponsoring me. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because I tried to fucking poison a few people. <laughs> No, they're, they're actually quite a good, quite a lot of health benefits from... There's a guy who's done Rogan's podcast, and I'm Paul Stamets. If you want to learn about mushrooms, he's the guy. Mm. So here's the thing. This lady's basically cooked up a big feed for her ex-partner's family. Now, I don't know why her ex-husband's family's at her house eating mushrooms. That makes no sense. Well, not eating mushrooms. Eating dinner. <laughs> so obviously they didn't get along. Obviously Aaron Patterson and her ex-husband doesn't get along because she's tried to kill him, allegedly, four times. But now she's got a whole his whole family there. So the four times that she's tried to kill him, has it been mushroom related? Well, I hope so. Because that'd be I, so fucking funny. I hope every time it's been something to do with a fungus. Like she started to like, you know, maybe she started to leave like old tampons around with black mold on them. You know, apparently tampons have this stuff called, oh, what is it called? Um, titanium dioxide in them. Yeah, right. And people are concerned about that leaching into, into women, or sorry, people with vaginas, people with front holes. <laughs> Um, they're concerned about that leaching into them, um, which is not, it's a heavy metal, obviously mm. titanium, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and causing issues over time. And there's a few other products that have it have it as well. Starburst. Skittles and Starburst, yeah. So this is an additive um, a- additive found in Skittles and Starburst, no longer considered safe. New science uh, assessment suggests the FDA should review approval of titanium dioxide in food. So it's also in tampons. It's in food. An additive used in Skittles and Starburst, Hotas, Donetis, and thousands of other food should no longer be considered safe for human consumption, according to a new study. That is crazy that it is in so many, so many different things. They found titanium dioxide in more than 3,000 ultra-processed foods. So we're talking, you know, candies, lollies, uh, probably chocolates, Tasty Cakes, Sour Patch Kids. That's why you can't get Sour Patch Kids in Australia anymore. It can damage your DNA. <laughs> So where does where's, where's it say that? Uh, chemical that may damage yeah. your DNA. A chemical that may damage our DNA should not be in Skittles, Starburst, and cupcakes. So this, so on the topic of DNA being damaged, DNA can also and genes can be um, harmed and damaged by some of the pro, some of the chemicals that are in um, obviously these foods that we're talking about, but also in I was listening to Andrew Huberman talk about it in vaping. So if you're if you are vaping. That is, that is, it's not so much the nicotine. Nicotine's not great for you. Mm. It can be uh, a neurostimulant, but it also can be, you know, bad. I think it can harden your arteries, which is a bad one for nicotine, allowing plaque to fall off more easily. It doesn't stick on there as well um, to sort of, you know, clamp up and jam up your front hole or something. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so this, um, these, these, whatever these chemicals are in vaping apparently causes a, a lot of grief and can actually change your, uh, your DNA or your, or your gene expression. If you have children, it can also harm women's eggs. So bad, don't do it. Um, just fucking jerk off or something. Michaela asked, uh, Isaac, would you smash the mushroom lady? <sighs> Michaela, you saucy devil. <laughs> Let's go back to the mushroom lady. Let's quick. have a look. Okay, I tell you what. For me to make love, Make love. I would have. Well, I don't want to get on the bad side of her. <laughs> yeah, I know. She'd be like the strap on kind of chick. Well, she, you know, she's force feeding your mushrooms from the. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, um, when Homer's being force fed donuts, is that what these people <laughs> were getting force fed with the mushrooms? Laser. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sexy. So, yes or no? 
Yeah, sure. Fine. Sure, fine. I mean, it depends at what you know, life stage I'm at. As a young man, you'd probably – any holes a goal at that point. Yeah. You're young. You're 23. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> like, I know you're in a committed relationship, but – If I just freshly got an out of said committed relationship, oh, I, don't, I, I that's smash, not, smash next. You would? <laughs> well, what would you do? Would you – okay, here's your option. <clears throat> here's your option. <laughs> oh, fuck. Would you A, eat a meal prepared mm. by Aaron Patterson or would you go down on her? <sighs> you could get fungal poisoning from like either. Like That's what I worry about. Of, same sort of risk-reward. There is. <laughs> Risk-to-reward ratio yeah. is not good in this situation. She um, And obviously this the photo that we've shown, it's not the best photo of her. I you mean, know, she's, she's dialed up. A little bit of makeup. Yeah, a little bit of makeup. She's you know got a bit of lines made in her hair. Mm. Looking good, feeling <laughs> saucy. Maybe she looks good. I can't tell, but um, no, nah, I wouldn't fuck her. <laughs> <laughs>